Danielle. I'm one of the health coaches here at Parsley Health, and today we're going to talk about night sweats. Does waking up in the middle of the night drenched in sweat with damp sheets and PJs sound all too familiar? Night sweats are actually way more common than you might think, and among women and men. But so many people are confused and sometimes embarrassed about night sweats because they think that they're usually linked to menopause. In reality though, there are lots of other factors that can be causing your night sweats. So let's get into it. I'm gonna talk about some factors that can influence just women first, and then we'll talk about some factors that can influence both women and men. So for women, one thing that can contribute to night sweats is normal hormone fluctuations. Every menstruating woman experiences fluctuating estrogen levels, and estrogen is the lowest right before your period. Low estrogen can lead to night sweats, and that's because low estrogen can affect the hypothalamus. This is the part of your brain that controls body temperature. When hormonal fluctuations are extreme, the brain is actually faster to respond to even slight temperature changes and may even activate our cooling system, sweating, when it's not necessary. The fix. Take note of the timing of your night sweats. If they're always occurring a week or two before your period, that could be a sign that already low levels of estrogen are dropping even lower, which could indicate a hormone imbalance. So talk to your doctor about getting tested for hormonal imbalances. Another factor in night sweats that affects only women is hormonal birth control. And hormonal birth control can cause levels of estrogen to fluctuate. So if you were to look at estrogen and progesterone on a chart, you would see that your estrogen level will spike every time you take the pill and then it'll fall. So pretty much you're getting those spikes and crashes on a daily basis. This can lead to night sweats. And so the fix is if night sweats bother you and you're using hormonal contraceptive pills, uh, consider coming off the pill or switching to another form of birth control, such as a hormonal IUD, which has lower levels of hormones that are meant to stay in the uterus, or the copper IUD, which is non-hormonal. You can also consider adjusting the time that you take your pill. So let's talk about some factors that affect both men and women. And one of them is thyroid issues. One of the many important functions of our thyroid gland is to regulate body temperature. For people that have hyperthyroidism or an overactive thyroid, your metabolism tends to work in overdrive, and that could cause your body temperature to rise. So the fix is, because thyroid issues are typically caused by autoimmunity, a good place to start is improving your gut health. That's because intestinal permeability, aka leaky gut syndrome, is a root cause of autoimmunity. Intestinal permeability means that food particles can leach outside of your intestines and cause an immune response every time you're eating. This can happen whether you're eating perfectly healthy food or not. Other factors that can contribute to thyroid problems include an imbalance in adrenal and or sex hormones. That's because our hormones play very synergistically in a delicate balance with each other. If you think that a thyroid issue could be contributing to night sweats, I suggest staying away from gluten, dairy, and added sugar, as these are the three top food triggers of inflammation, and also including more healthy fats in your diet, specifically omega-3s. These are found in wild-caught fatty fish, walnuts, flax seeds, and chia seeds, as well as other gut-healing foods like starches, non-starchy veggies, and dark leafy greens. You should also aim to reduce unnecessary stress and manage anxiety, and see your doctor or OBGYN if you suspect that a sex hormone imbalance is at play. To test your thyroid hormones, we do recommend a full thyroid panel that goes far beyond just TSH or thyroid stimulating hormone. To get a full picture of what your thyroid hormones are doing, we suggest getting TSH, reverse T3, free T3, total T3, free T4, and then also checking for thyroid antibodies. Another factor that can contribute to night sweats in both men and women is a blood sugar imbalance. And feeling hangry can actually cause a stress response in your body that raises body temperature. So we suggest eating a more balanced diet throughout the day as a good way to manage your blood sugar to keep it balanced at night. And then also avoiding high carb, high sugar, processed and refined foods close to bedtime. If you are going to snack at night, or if you feel like you're going to be too hungry going without a snack, have something with a healthy fat in it that's going to keep your blood sugar nice and stable. Something like nuts, seeds, or an apple or some veggies with nut butter. Another factor that can contribute to night sweats in men and women is sleep apnea. Sleep apnea causes the same kind of stress response that happens with low blood sugar, but this time it's caused by a lack of oxygen. 
The fix is to get tested for sleep apnea and work with your doctor to find the right treatment. Stress and anxiety is another biggie in contributing to night sweats. Stress from during the day might be catching up with you in the middle of the night when your brain actually has time to process what it can't process during a busy work day. This can cause that same fight or flight response that raises your body temperature and makes it difficult to stay asleep. The fix, try taking 30 to 60 minutes to wind down at the end of the night with a healthy relaxation routine. Try something like reading, taking a bath, journaling, meditation, or doing some deep breathing. And finally, another factor that can contribute to night sweats in both women and men is too much alcohol. So unfortunately, that glass of wine or maybe two or three with dinner um, might be impacting your body's hormones more than you think. That's because alcohol impairs our ability to regulate our body temperature, and it's also a big factor in disrupting our circadian rhythm. The fix for this one, simply try a few nights without alcohol and see if the night sweats disappear. Not only are night sweats uncomfortable, but they might impact our ability to get a quality night's sleep. And sleep is so important to almost every aspect of our overall health. If your night sweats are negatively affecting your quality of life and nothing seems to do the trick, we suggest reaching out to your doctor to figure out how you can catch some Z's without working up a sweat.